What's up, boys? Call sign Grammy here. Welcome to day one of Operation Northern Shield. We're going to see if we can make this an entire series, walking through the entire uh, experience of DCC Digital Crew Chief uh, undergoing a dynamic campaign mission. This is on the Syria map in the Cold War era. So we're going to go ahead and start the campaign. We are going to uh, choose our forces here as the U.S. Navy circa 1987. Uh, real, real quick, I do want to point out that when you pick your faction, you can come over here to the customized faction here and you can hit the little pencil and you can go ahead and actually pick a bunch of different options here for your countries, for cap missions. You can select the aircraft uh, for CAS, for AWACS, for DEAD, for strikes, SAR, ground units, and as well as the carrier. If you don't have the uh, super carrier module, the Abraham Lincoln, you can go with the Forrestal. And so that way you can participate the, in this as well. Um, so that's just something to note right there. You do have options on all this stuff. So we're going to pick the Navy uh, circa 87 and enemy forces are going to be Russia in 84. So there's some parity there. Uh, and then we're going to customize this by allowing night missions and uh, we'll put it on veteran level, which is going to be uh, quite the challenge. We'll hit next and it is going to generate the day one operations and give us options here for what we want to fly so right off the bat we've got some cast ops with the harrier a couple different versions there's a pinpoint strike escorts and all that stuff i, I like the idea of doing a strike mission out of the f-18 we take a look here and we click on it so we're armed with some gbus um and uh aim rams two aim nine x's we're gonna hit join to accept that and fly that mission once we do that, we'll come over here to take off top right corner and we're going to hit take off. It's going to go ahead and populate the uh, the flight and the mission and all that stuff for day one. And once it's done, it says ready for takeoff. We'll come down to the bottom right quarter, corner and hit generate mission. Once we've done that, you'll get this message saying that you can now start the mission from within DCS. And we're going to go ahead and leave this up and it can stay in the background. It's not going to bother anything. Uh, we're going to pull up DCS. We're going to come to mission. Go to my missions and you're going to see DCC mission. And uh, here it is right here for Syria. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. So we're inside of the 18. I spared you the boredom of the cold start. And before we get in the air to uh, take on this mission here, let's take a look at what we need to do. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go into data. I was going to turn up that brightness there. Uh, we're going to turn on precise. And our waypoints are already in the uh, aircraft, of course. So we're going to utilize the sequence. It's already set up here, one through six. We're going to box that. Uh, also, you can pull up your kneeboard and we'll scroll over a couple of pages. And we have a flight plan right here. It highlights everything in here, the radio channels that we need to monitor, as well as the uh, waypoints, including waypoint three, which is the actual strike on the facility. So we'll put that away. Um, what we're going to do, though, once we're in the air, is we're going to utilize that sequencing to put us in auto and let it fly us so that we can set up the armament for the attack. So with that being said, let's go ahead and taxi on over to the cat and uh, get in the air here. Of course, as always, take off the chocks. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Never fails. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. All right, now we can uh, taxi on over. Uh, we do have a AI wingman, so we'll see how well they do. How well they do to uh, protect us and uh, and all of that. We are going to go pretty deep into enemy territory, so uh, I expect to run into both air and ground threats. Um, we'll see. It's going to be challenging. All right, get ourselves lined up over here. We're in. Let's get our wings down. And our launch bar. Situated. Cool. You can see some of our friendlies out there. Some 18s doing some operations. E2 up in the sky. See some Harriers out here somewhere. Well, they might have took off earlier uh, as we were cold starting. All right, let's come in here, lock ourselves into the cat. 
Perfect. Good. Uh, we'll do one final look, make sure everything looks good. Uh, once we get in the air, we'll warm up our teapot. One thing, uh, I really wanted to use the JDAMs in pre-plan mode because we have the uh, waypoint for that uh, target location. However, some kind of a weird bug or issue where when I go to put in the north uh, coordinates, it won't accept it. It gives me an error. So we're going to have to uh, deploy these uh, munitions in TOO, target of opportunity mode, with the teapot. Um, I would have rather used the pre-plan so that we can just have them in there and uh, bomb and, and get out. But uh, with the teapot, we're going to spend a little bit more time to uh, put in the, the, the bombing or the waypoint information into the bomb so that the, we can send them off. All right, we're ready to go. We've got the sign. Let's go full burner. And we are off. Goes up. Flaps 50. Flaps full. Up. And let's go ahead and go on auto. Couple. And we're going to let this bird fly itself here. We'll just kind of keep our uh, angle of attack up. That thing is so loud. And while that's going to fly us, we're going to go set up our stuff here. So we'll be good to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and warm up the targeting pod. And uh, we're also going to go into stores. Everything looks good here. They're all uh, good and aligned. So that's good. Uh, we're going to need to take them off of pre-planned for both pylons. And then we're going to set the fuse to instant. And the fuse is instant on the other one. Uh, we'll go back to the other JDAMs here. Same thing. TOO step. TOO. Fuse instant. Fuse instant. Perfect. So those are ready to go. All we need to do um, once we get closer with the teapot is go to JDAM display. We'll go to mission and we'll input the... Uh, the designation with the coordinates in there to uh, get those things locked in. So we'll leave that page up right there so we're ready to go. We're climbing. Uh, you can see here our course. And it's going to uh, auto sequence. It's going to do it all for us. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go to SA page here. And already we've got some uh, enemy aircraft. Hopefully we got some friendlies. Let's we'll take a look here. If we look at the F-10 map, you'll see that uh, oh, yeah, they're chasing them down. They're backing away now. Uh, you can see how dense it is with enemies. And uh, for us, we're going to have to go somewhere in this vicinity back here, I believe. Um, if we were to click on waypoint and we click, yep, there we go. So you can see where we're at right here. That is our strike location, workshop A. So we're going to be bombing that. Um, so we're deep in there. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to keep climbing. Good to about uh, 30,000. Oh, we already have enemy low to the ground. That might be... Oh, it's actually 25. That could be a real issue here. Where's our wingman at? There he is up there. Let's go ahead and radio him in there. Flight. Cover me. Yeah, he sees them down there, so he'll go take them out. So just to make sure that we're good. There he is. Where are we at here? Oh, we got more of them coming. Hopefully he does. Nope, missed them. Um... Fox 2, is he going to take him out? Come on, AI. Holy, how is the AI so bad he over... Just... Yeah, <laughs> what? How are you missing him? All right, at this point, let's just call him back. Fox 2. No, you're going to... Okay. Oh, God. This is actually cringe. The AI is so off. He's just missing... Is he going to get him at least? Yeah, you're bad. AI is so bad. Just, 
Just get back here, bro. All right. Uh, and let's take a look here. About 15 miles out. Let's go ahead and uh, designate. There it is right there. We've got eyes on. And let's go ahead and program these in here. All right. Mission. That one's in. And the second one. That one's in. Let's go back out. And we will make sure we're instant. JDAM display. Mission. We'll send uh, one more over there. We'll go over here. We're going to send these over to this guy. That one's in. And program that one. Program that one. And we are ready to go. Dumping them all out. Oh, why is that one dropping? Hold on. All right, we got that dropped. Let's go ahead and uh, auto sequence. ourselves up here. We're gonna fly ourselves up and out. We got contact. One destroyed. Two destroyed. We're good. It's bug out. Alright, what are we looking like here? We're looking still pretty good. Go air to air here just to uh, make sure we don't run into anything. All right, so we're going to fly the flight plan here. There we go. All right, we're back on track. We are punching it. We are punching it. All right, we're back under mill power. Oh, there's Wingman. We're still uh, still good. All right, we're just going to keep our, uh, our SA going here. Make sure we don't run into any issues. We've got one bogey. Uh, where is he at? Uh, 35,000. One at 20. This one looks low to the ground. Looks kind of clear so far. So this smooth sailing. We got something coming up into our radar here. But um, also looks like there's some friendly units over there. Unknown. Maybe not. All right. We're coming in for our landing here. Something happened on the carrier. Uh, this is looking kind of ugly. Coming in a little too fast. There's a lot going on over here. Which way are we going here, buddy? There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little too low here. A little too low, a little too fast. It's not going to be good. Alright, maybe we can salvage this. We're going to fly right into a ball of flames. Don't know what happened on the carrier, but that is a giant hole. Thankfully, we landed on it. Uh, landed before it. And I'm not even sure how many uh, how many we caught right there. But, oh my god, what, what happened while I was gone? <laughs> I think they uh, attacked the ship. Okay, we're back here where we started uh, with a lot more damage on the uh, aircraft carrier. But... Our mission has been accomplished, so let's complete it and send that information to uh, DCC. All right, so we pulled up DCC, and at the bottom corner, we hit uh, submit uh, the brief, 
And uh, lo looks like, yeah, it's annotated everything we got. We're alive. Um, looks like Russia lost 10 aircraft. We lost 15. Lost ground units. We lost 22. We took a lot of damage. Uh, wow. Uh, lost buildings, too, because we destroyed our... Uh, our mission was the strike on those buildings. We took those out. And we're done. That is day one of the campaign for Operation Northern Shield. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. We'll come back with the next uh, day of operations here. Now, we could technically fly all of these if we wanted to, but uh, more than likely, we're going to skip to the next day and let the AI uh, fly those other missions, and we'll pick up in the next video. So if you want to stay posted on this series of videos, make sure to like, subscribe, call Sam Grimey out.